Hello, my name is Brian Largent, and this is another episode of 3 Minute Thursday. In this episode, we're going to be talking about operating system obsolescence, specifically Windows 7 and Server 2008 R2. Both operating systems have been around almost 10 years now, and they're starting to get a little long in the tooth. Now, Microsoft has released patches and fixes along the way and plugged security vulnerabilities in these operating systems, keeping them fully functional. However, they're about to expire. Now, when an operating system expires, you may think, why do I care? If it expires, if it still works and my applications run, it doesn't really matter to me. We're going to dive into that a little bit. So let's get started. The title of my presentation is The Coming Storm. Now, when I say The Coming Storm, the reason I say that is because over half of the Windows-based operating systems in the world are Windows 7 or Server 2008 R2. That's quite a few systems that are going to stop receiving critical updates and patches effective January 14th, 2020. And you're thinking, well, 2020, that's a long ways off. I've got plenty of time to prepare for this. Not really. 2020 is 684 days away, or one year, 10 months, and 13 days. Or, the way you really have to look at it as a business, one more budget period to plan, budget, and replace or upgrade systems and have them operational. That's not a lot of time. So who should care? Who should care if their systems are being updated or not? Why does it really matter? Well, everyone should care. You need to have your systems receiving the latest updates and patches and plugging holes and security vulnerabilities to keep them safe and secure, protecting your company or your individual data. Some organizations are required by law to continually update and patch their systems. And if Windows 7 and Server 2008 are no longer having patches released by Microsoft, they cannot be in compliance if they continue to use those operating systems. I've got quite a bit of information on the screen. If you'd like to pause, you can read through the HIPAA and PCI DSS regulations that deal with patching and updating your systems. I'd be more than happy to read those points for you, but I've only got three minutes, so we've got to move on. So what are some issues you may run into trying to upgrade your systems to a new operating system? Well, the first one is some software may only run on Windows 7 and not newer operating systems. That could incur more cost to your organization to get your software up to a newer version that is supported on a newer operating system. Then you've got integrated systems such as x-ray machines that are too expensive to replace or upgrade. You may need to write policies and procedures and justifications for keeping operating systems that can no longer be patched in production. And some software vendors may tell you if you don't upgrade, their software is no longer supported. That can also be a costly surprise for you. And Arclight, like most IT professionals, does not recommend upgrading existing operating systems on older equipment. It's just a recipe for disaster. And that leaves the option of buying new equipment which is a very expensive upfront burden. Now there's options to lease or rent, or you can always just buy it outright, but still the burden is there. So what do you do? Well, you need to discuss and plan, then get quotes, then deploy and resolve any issues caused by using a new operating systems, and by all means, do not delay. There's gonna be a lot of companies rushing to get new systems in, and there is going to be a shortage very soon. Well, that's all I've got for today. If you have any more questions or concerns, feel free to reach me at the number on your screen. My name is Brian Largent. I'm with the Arclight Group in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Have a wonderful rest of your week.